Hello, I'm Aaron Lanterman, a professor at Georgia Tech. And I'm Hayden Ritterford, a student of Aaron Lanterman. And uh, what have you, and uh, name your compadres yes, and what you've so, built. Uh, myself, Thomas Wells, and Julian Knight, who are my partners, we have built a four-pole voltage-controllable uh, filter. And this uses a quad uh, Vactrol, which is four LDRs coupled to a single LED as its source of cutoff control, and a single custom Vactrol as its source of resonance control. Great. So we're using the Korg MS20 uh, just for the oscillator. We're not actually, uh, the oscillators, we're not actually using uh, the filters in the MS20. That's what you're seeing here. So here's a square wave being filtered. Here's a sawtooth wave. And uh, so let me first turn off the modulation and we'll sweep the frequency pot up and down. Okay, let's do the same thing with... Uh... So there's a square wave. So that's manually sweeping. But of course, we can uh, maybe stick it somewhere in the middle. Yeah. And we'll let's use the um, LFO generator here to control the. Uh... So there's increasing. Uh, let's do decreasing. And we can do up and down. And we can increase the um, rate of modulation. Now the fun part is, let's now actually turn the resonance control pot. Changing the speed, let me crank the volume a little bit. You typically get this volume drop, a DC volume drop with this four pole with feedback structure. Some people like to compensate for that. I think we just left it as usual. Changing the rate there. Let's do down. And let's do going up. And I guess the other feature we have in here is we do have the ability, or let's, well, let's first just, um, let me hold this here and just crank the resonance up and down. Yeah. Let me flip it to going up and down. And then here's the resonance pot going upward. More resonance. So that's maximum resonance. And then here's minimum resonance. Excellent. So the other thing we have here is we've got a external resonance control. So we're going to plug that in. So now I'm going to use the LFO on the MS-20 to modulate the resonance amount. This is a little less exciting. Uh, play, play with the filter cutoff while we're doing yep. this. And see if you can adjust the resonance offset to see yeah. if we got... There we go. Or... Oh. See if you can That'd get like good. the most interesting sounding yeah, thing. See. So this is not changing the filter really, but it's changing the resonance by the LFO. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount. Now let me crank that up. Or let me change it. Going up. Now let me crank the resonance uh, of the LFO frequency. There you go. Cool. Now remember, what was your project? Hmm. Were you part of this one or a different? No. Oh, That's right. different. I was confused. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the little yeah. confusion there at the end. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um, sounds good. So you will post this to YouTube and submit sure. a link. Absolutely, yeah.